Hello, 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 everybody. Um, another anime review episode of Ushoku no Berserk, episode five, and um, I'm gonna break. I'm gonna not break down. I'm gonna review basically everything that happened in this episode. We have a lot to cover. I'm gonna try to keep it below ten minutes as much as I can. So just bear with me. If you're new to this channel, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, all that jazz. And please be sure, like I said, guys, be sure to, like I said, be sure to spread the video around, guys. It helps, the, like I said, it helps it helps my channel. It builds it up. And also, we're trying to get rid of the viewership around here, guys. And if you like what's being, what's being told here, all that jazz, subscribe. All right. Just do me that courtesy. You're getting entertainment for free. Okay. With that being said, y'all, let's get into the episode. So, guys, so currently we left off. So, we are literally continuing the events of the cliffhanger that I left off episode four into episode five where fate actually run fate actually runs up on one of the uh holy knights and uh, as a way to ambush them to stop them uh as a way to uh get rid of one of them because of the plot that they're that they're doing to get rid of roxy he actually his actual nickname that he goes by is corpse like that's his name i never mentioned that in one of my uh, prior review episodes, but they know him as Corpse, kind of like the Renegade. Um, a guy that's going around slashing monsters, like that's what he's labeled him as Corpse. So, with that being said, he encounters, he runs in, he runs in on the Holy Knight. He literally, the Holy Knight sticks his goons on him, and he just flattens them. It's a, it, it's a flat out wash. He washes all of them. The Holy Knight himself, he, it was, wasn't even a contest. The way, the, yo, I want to say this. Fate is a savage. He, what he did to this guy is crazy. He literally dis, dismembers this dude's limbs. He literally takes his, first he takes his face in and he bashes against a tree like three times. Then he, then he takes, then he grabs a guy from his neck and chugs him in the air into the sky. And then he, he then he shoots his, he shoots his magic arrows out of his um, out of his uh, hardcore, out of his uh, his mortal sin weapon, and he shoots it energy. He shoots four energy like arrows in the air, and you see him go in the air and hit him. But but you know you see going in the air. You see the energy blasts go right into the air. I'm sorry, I'm confusing that guys. But you see the guy fall down, and from how you make it out, it seems like he only his head exists. Like that's not what happened. He. He when he falls down, all four of his limbs are gone. His, both his arms and both his legs, bro. And he's like <laughs> literally laid up against the rock. I was like, yo, fate is a savage right now. And and, and as and as fate, honestly, while he was beating up the Holy Knight, he remembered all the things they did to him. This one Holy Knight had did to him. There's others that were treating him like shit, but this guy treated him like shit too. And I was like, hey man, just goes to show you, man, don't be a shitty person. Honestly. Yeah, that probably wouldn't have happened to y'all if y'all weren't shitty. But, uh, or at least one of you. I'm pretty sure he, I, ho I hope he gets them all personally. That's just my little thing right there. And uh, he he ends off by executing him. So, you know, he, the whole night was begging for his life and he just executed this dude. He exed him right off. And I was like, way to go, fate. Way to go, fate. Way to go. And uh, and that pretty much after that whole ordeal, he... Um, he ends up taking. I shouldn't have listed out. He ends up. He actually ends up taking uh, the Holy Knight stats when he stabs him before he kills him. Things of that nature. I forgot to mention that. Um, and he says like it actually makes me. And he actually remarks by saying it actually makes me sick to have this guy's stats in me right now. I'm like, yo, he does not love these guys. These guys are foul. It just shows you how much he does not care for these guys. Well, rightfully so. But uh, but uh, quote unquote. We so 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 we so uh Roxy um, so so sorry guys <laughs> Roxy embarks to Gallia. She literally she literally uh says bye to her to her servants, her uh, family in the estate that she owns. And um you know she has she says and you know she goes on her merry way. Fate after a while, you know, he decides he wants to be an adventure and he decides to embark on his own journey as well. So he leaves that estate. And they actually, they actually, you know, send give give him a good uh, 
for, send a good farewell off, a good send off. I say farewell, a good uh, send off farewell. And, you know, they give him some cash, things of like that, what he's earned, all that, you know, just from working for the uh, Hart family estate, all that. And, uh, you know, he goes on this, he goes on his own adventure. He is, like he said, you know, I want to try adventuring, things of that nature. And uh, as he's traveling, uh, he runs, so he, we actually get an insight uh, to his backstory when he, when he comes upon a certain town, the town uh, which kind of like uh, discriminated against them, more so shunned him and was just awful towards him when he was a kid. And uh, he ends up saving one of the he ends up saving one of the people who treated him like dirt back in the, back in the past at a I won't say a tavern but at, at a bar and uh, because he's asking for help and we literally get face backstory where how like I said how the village treated him like trash him and his dad but but they were only allowed to stay because his dad had a, had a good a unique ability with with an, with his spear. I'm sorry, guys. I'm fumbling my words. I really am sorry. There's like multiple things in my head right now. I'm sorry. And he's and they're trying. And, and, and the thing is, they kept him around for that unique ability and skill that he could use. And he was good. He wasn't just he wasn't good at fighting. He was good at, at using uh, at making herbs, it, it seems like. And, you know, he was teaching fate, um, you know, how to how to be good at, you know, using, quote unquote, uh, you know things out of the forest to create herbs, medicinal herbs, things of that nature, because it, you know, because his dad kept getting hurt, which probably was one of the causes of why he died. But he, but when he passed away, they all threw rocks at this kid when he literally had no family, and they were like the worst piece of shit. Just they're honestly, those villagers are just as bad as those knights, honestly, for doing that to him. And also, apparently, fate had that ability. Um, so fate's growling stomach, I surmise, is from his ability. Um, and I should have said that before. I think he might have had that when he was young, but because it, it showed in his backstory, his stomach was still gro- growling. Even though Gl- Glenny was never even activated until he had personally killed someone, that's probably an effect of it, of why he was born with that ability. Like, that's why his stomach would growl so much, because he's really, really hungry. Things of that nature. Not, not hungry for killing, but probably just hungry in general. Starvation. And I'm just like, it, it's just sad to see a kid starving and like, being treated like that as a kid. I mean, being treated like that by a bunch of village that kind of like disown you and your dad, but they see you only, but you're only valid because your dad has an ability. So that, that, that was a good insight. Um, a little context of fate in this, of uh, where he came up, where he grew up and like why he is the way he is now, even with the ability activated. And, um, it did, they, they did a good job showing that for me. I bought it. I'm like, yeah, he's ever, sorry. He has every right to, not like this, like this village. Every reason, every reason not to even help them. To be honest, <sighs> sorry guys, I'm getting I hate this. Uh sorry about that. I'm getting, I'm getting notifications. Um, and uh, and that's just how it is. So, you know, they, they like I said, he ends up helping the guy that uh that he knew from his backstory, and he seen. And, and he's realized that like he's come a long way. Like yeah, she has hair. He actually has a family. He has a little girl. He has a daughter. Uh, and he ends up help, wanting to help them because of that. And he says like, yo, you've changed. You have the same piece. You know, the same like person that used to throw rocks at me, whatever. And it seems like, and it seems like he's giving him. It seems like he's giving him a hand. But um. Overall, uh, overall, the the village end up spiking, uh, quote unquote. Uh, they don't spike them, but they 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 can, they kind of end up. Uh, Fate ends up like getting knocked out by by a candy that he got from a little, from, from uh, his from from the man's little girl, which probably the village tried to the village probably told her to give that to him because they're trying to use him as use Fate as a sacrifice, and the episode kind of ends there. And and he and he and and the, the the man didn't know. He was like, "Oh shoot, they probably did that." So I'm guessing the next episode, Fate Fate's ability is gonna wake him up, and he's gonna go ape shit on the on the um not the villagers. I don't know if he'll go ape shit on the villagers, but he's gonna probably gonna get ape ship on the monsters that are trying to attack his his uh his former home village. And um 
I guess the villages might suffer. They might suffer a consequence, but I don't know. I would. I'm really betting he might. He might just walk away and not even bother with them, honestly. But with that being said, guys, that's the end of this episode review. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry I'm on my words a little bit, and I'm sorry for the freaking notification noise. I thought I muted that. But with that being said, y'all, y'all have a y'all have a nice night. Be sure to drink water, green tea, and be sure to exercise and be sure to warm up, guys. It's getting cold out here. I'm in the south, and it's getting like 51 degrees, but I don't think it's really really cold for me. It's a blessing. With that being said, y'all, peace out.